going to talk about the kettlebell tighter. What is it? Why is it? And how should you perform it? The kettlebell tighter is a movement you may or may not have come across. I see it performed across the board in many different variations with different tweaks. I wanted to cover today why those different tweaks exist and how it should be used. The main two variations I've performed are with a flip catch and with a goblet catch. I'm going to show you both of those now and talk you through why or how you would use those two to further your training. So the flip catch, you perform a kettlebell swing, you flip the belt, catch into that crush position with the belt. This variation is a perfect alternative to a wall ball. If you don't have access to a wall high enough or a ball, you can do the flip catch with a high release and you'll create the same stimulus as that wall ball. You would generally go a little bit lighter with the kettlebell on this one. And it's usually great if you're doing more volume. The second variation that I see performed often is to catch it in that goblet position where you'll bring it vertically up the body and you'll catch it by the horns, tight into the chest, forearms clutching the bell into that more standard goblet squat position. This is probably the classic way of doing the movement because you're limiting that range of motion, you're pulling the kettlebell up, you're catching it deep into that squat. Perfect if you want to go a little bit heavier, and maybe use it more as a strength movement. The way I like to use the tighter is generally as an accessory strength movement or as a lower body conditioning movement. And for me, I like to catch it a little bit differently because I just find it's a little bit more efficient at getting into that depth in your squat, but also allowing you to lift a little bit more weight. So what I like to do is hold the handles in the kettlebell as usual. You're going to let your thumb slide through and you're going to catch the bell in a goblet position, but holding it by the bell. So it's kind of a cross between the two, no flipping at all. So you're going to swing the kettlebell, thumb slide through, catching it by the bell, into that squat position. And all I'm doing is sliding my hands through, letting the weight of the bell come into my chest, into my clutch position. Then I can get nice and deep into that squat, keeping a vertical spine, head up, chest proud. Nice and simple. The kettlebell tighter is a big bang for your book exercise. You get a lot of hamstring and glute activation as you perform that initial hinge into the swing. As you pull it up and catch it into that goblet position, your core's bracing, upper back muscles, shoulders locked in tight, and then you're obviously getting that quad activation and glute activation into that squat as you drive back up and through. Give it a go. Try out which variation works better for you. Test out different weights, kettlebells, and have fun with it.